All right, guys, it's time for Doinker Down the Middle. It's a fun opportunity to learn more about our new co-host, Stephanie Odie, and really to learn more about the great Dane himself, Martin Anderson. We're going to throw out some topics. They're going to tell me down the middle if they like it, doink if they don't. So here we go. First topic. We're fishing. We're fishing. <laughs> Speaking of fishing, yeah. the beach. Doink or down the middle. Tom has to keep us on track because me and down, Mark man. are literally playing like charades right now. I'm in. Down down the middle on the beach. It is I'm, I'm a just... doink. What? Y'all, I I'm we I'm weird. I'm the only person of my breed that is like this. Like I don't like beach towns. I don't like, I grew up with a, we still have this place in Hilton Head with the beach, the freaking sand coming in. It's like hardwood, like you just feel it. Or it's like in the carpet, like sand, uh, no. Also explain to me one single freaking reason why someone would want to lay out on the beach. No, no, I'm, I'm sorry, not, you're, I'm not laying you're out sweating here standy and my skin is like literally, I like I hate the sun. My skin is like, just like, I just burn flake off no tan. Like I get no benefit from it. I like to have good skin when I'm older. Like I'm just not a beach person. Also like I'm, I just relate it to laziness and I have, I think I have an addiction to being productive. I just, I'm not good with downtime. Wow, so, I totally disagree. I'm down the middle on the beach and I, I relate the beach to extreme wealth. <laughs> and Oh my God, like Fort lot, Myers and or something? Lots, like what? And lots of, and lots of free time to do whatever the hell I want to do. People I kick my the... very last, hold on. I kick my very last field goal in my entire life probably on a beach in Florida, barefoot. Go look at my picture on my Twitter handle. It's got a picture of me barefoot kicking a football on a beach. I remember like there was like a couple of hundred people and they started watching my buddy Katie audience? and I. Well, not in the beginning. Oh, I was okay. Did you send out a like everybody come watch me kick my last kick? I'll on tell the TV. story Let's if go. you'll be quiet for a second. I'll tell the story. <laughs> I'm in I, I want to know. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> I was down there on spring break and I brought a couple of footballs. I said, man, Jamie, wouldn't it be fun to kick a couple of field goals? He goes, man, I don't know. Is that a good idea? Barefoot, we're in the swim trunks. I started kicking them, you know, 30 yards. He kept moving back. I go, just put your arms over your head. So he did that. And I'm banging him through the uprights off the sand. Now people are starting to notice. And I, it's like, they made like a gauntlet for 40 yards. And I'm kicking down this thing. People are cheering, drinking beer. It's a lot of fun. Finally, one guy comes up and goes, dude, who give are you? a shot, man. Why didn't you try to, you know, get a tryout with the NFL? Had no clue who I was. I never divulged who I was. I said, no, man, this is just for fun. I couldn't walk the next day, guys. I was oh. so yak. My knees were ruined. So that was the last time I kicked. So yeah, back to the beach one down the middle for sure. Well, okay, if I saw that on the beach, I would probably say down the middle, but no, I didn't get to watch a Hall of Famer throw the, kick their last kick on a beach before. So I, I know, I know. Doink. Crazy, wow. I am uh, shocked by that answer, but this is why we play the game, guys. All right, next up, doinker down the middle, cable television. Down the middle. <laughs> what? I'm the young, you're the old time, what? No, don't. You don't doink. like going on like the TV guide and like scrolling down? You have to go to a different like streaming app to go to each show. Yeah, cable TV is old school. I mean, it, it was great back when that was the only option, I suppose. Maybe when they got- But TV, now with the choice, better. are you talking about freeze? Are you talking about cable television today or 20 years ago? Today. Like would you, would do you pay, do you pay, do you have a cable provider? Like do you pay for cable or just- I direct TV. Okay, see, yeah. So then- well, That's satellite. Ooh, you're a satellite guy. Well, that's because you're in the South. My parents are the same way. My parents are kind of near you. Like, they, oh. the only cable provider is DirecTV. I didn't know DirecTV uh, discriminated against where you Well, it's like, it's like for like remote places. Like, my parents are like oh. out in the mountains. And then there's a golf course there and everything, but it's like down by water and mountains and stuff. It's like an hour from you, maybe. Hmm. Anyway, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm doink on, uh, on cable TV. So I, ooh, that's a, that's a tough one because I use it through my parents, like I have their logins, so. Ah, okay. The login? Yeah. I, I can don't log it. into my direct TV, it's just there. I turn it I, on. Well, yeah, you can log I in. I have a gazillion channels. <laughs> it works really well, you should try it. 
Oh, you okay, paid for so the are... package? So you're not doinking it then? They get free NFL ticket being an ex an, an NFL legend. So that's, oh, that's cool. Do you really? It's a nice yeah, perk. perk. Everybody I mean, honestly, played, like, that should be a gimme. Like, really. That's a perk. That's a perk. If you've that ever played in the league, you get free NFL ticket. I like that. All so right, you guys, can... last. Go ahead. I was oh, going to ask right. if you get Super Bowl tickets every year, too. Ooh, that's a good question, actually. You don't. No, you don't. You you, you enter a lottery. You have to win a Super Bowl for that? Not good one. <laughs> wow. Stinger, little stinger, little stinger. Oh, no. wow. That's a really good burn. That's, That's a, a really burn. good burn. burn. Do you want me to send you a Buckeye shirt to wear next week? No, no I'm good. I think <laughs> I'm just relishing the fact that you got Sparty on there. And you will I, still have it on for a couple I more minutes. Wore, I wore this whole show. It's a sleep shirt. It is. It 100%. I don't wear it anywhere but to bed. There you go. Last doinker down the middle for us here, guys. Formal wear. It depends on the occasion. I like it. I like to get dressed up. I like tuxedos. Yeah, I'm a big. Uh, I love James Bond and when he was in the tux with. The, oh the, yeah. James Bond. James Bond. I I've watched. Martini shaken, Bond. not stirred. Well, yeah. guys, I need your official answer so I can play the fun sound effect. Down the middle. Down the middle. It is. Down the middle, dog. I'm just gonna say doink so I can play that sound effect again. <laughs> oh man, no, I like. I think. Um, yeah. I think formal wear is cool, as long as it's fitting. Like I, I don't like a shirt that's too tight up in the neck, and it cuts into you. And then you have like the the neck fat that hangs over the collar. That's not a good look. Is that what dickies are for? The things that like. What's it? What's a dickie? It's like a southern tie, right? Or no? Oh, like I a just scarf, know like an for... ascot, like an ascot. No, Clark Giswold wears one uh, in the in Christmas vacation. I think it's called a neck extender. It's literally like a bib, I thought. I don't know. A neck mm. extender. See, I got like, if you got gizzard neck, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you have like a double <laughs> chin, uh, it's not It's not good. Like, it falls over the thing. <laughs> wow. There's no way. I mean, you can tuck like your stomach into your pants, but how do you tuck your neck mm. into anything? It hangs there. You just yeah. pull it back in the back. Ah. Maybe maybe oh, get a like, Maybe get a, like a clothes pen and just... Get like... Get like a stabler, kukum, kukum, that would on be each side, and then you're like, hi. No, it's not a good look. I can't say I relate, but, I, but like, formal wear is always I'm... something you're celebrating something. You know what I mean? Like a wedding, or well, we said we hate award shows last week, so <laughs> just don't. But I'm not an award show. Which I, I hate. Them. I, I'm doink on award show, but I'm. So I'm a little hypocritic, maybe, right? Because formal wear. What about the SBs? Oh. Does that count? What's that? Do you not like the SBs? No, that's an award show. No. And I've I've never been invited. 